What Aspen Snowmass has done so well is to bring art out into unique places. The fact that Aspen's used the same artwork for as long as they have, it's an incredible tenure for, a, a, for map art, for any kind of map. For me to come in and create an updated map, those are big shoes to fill. What I know about Rob's work that I get so excited about is the level of detail that he puts into it, the care and commitment, and the long hours that create a product that's going to be absolutely beautiful. That hand-rendered trail map brings out the beauty of a, a place. It makes you want to explore a place. It's kind of like a treasure map for the outdoors. I think a lot of hand-rendered illustration work, especially in mapping, it is a dying art. There's very few people in the industry that do what Rad does. And I think it takes a patience and a perseverance to transpose what we have in nature onto a trail map. Yeah, I think it's important for an area like Aspen to use a hand-drawn map because it, it's an incredibly beautiful landscape. You would be taking something away from that natural beauty by creating something on the computer or, you know, a satellite image or even a photograph of the mountain. Using computers and technology can make things easier and less expensive, but what RAD does is a creative process that pulls out the uniqueness of the mountains and it represents what Aspen Skiing Company is all about in our culture. It's nice for me to, to come out here and experience it from a skier, but think about it from a, a wayfinding standpoint. It is a piece of art, but it's something that we want to share with the public, and so how usable is it as well? It's very exciting to me how detailed his process is. I gather all kinds of imagery, but I'll develop a number of thumbnails and line drafts that kind of show the major features and how they relate to one another. And from there, I develop a, a detailed pencil sketch at the same size that I plan to do the final painting, project that onto my final illustration board and kind of use that as a model for the painting. The detail that he takes with each stroke with the brush is phenomenal. The majority of the painting is done in opaque watercolors, also called gouache. It dries fast, it's quick to work with, and as I need to make changes over the next couple of years, I'll be able to either remove trees or add trees. And, and manipulate the painting without having to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. I'm excited to see how he goes from photo to sketch to the finished product. Heroes is going to provide new experiences, new memories, and new feelings for our guests. It has such a natural feel to it. Those lines in there just seem like they're just Mother Nature made ski runs. It's going to add excitement, curiosity, exploration, and you're going to be able to explore terrain that a lot of us haven't explored or have rarely explored throughout the years. I can't imagine a more beautiful set of runs to do some gladed skiing. I'm just over the moon thrilled to be a, a small part of Aspen's history and get to paint a place as beautiful as Aspen. I often pinch myself and it's pretty humbling. This trail map that Rad has done is really taking into account the idea of how special art is to us and how special art is in our community. And with the opening of Heroes, we think it's the perfect time to show this piece of art to our community.